Balance is a design principle that artists and designers use as they're laying out a composition. It's one of those principles you'll use through every stage of the design process. In this video, you're going to learn why you should care about balance, three ways that you can use balance within your own design projects, and the one attribute that has a mysterious effect on the balance of your compositions. This is episode number two of my Design Fundamentals class. The purpose of this class is to train graphic designers in the fundamentals of art and design with free resource guides to help you apply them. You can see all the topics for this class in my YouTube playlist by clicking this link, or if you wait until the end of the video, there will be a link there as well. Okay, let's get into it. What is balance? A design composition can be said to be balanced when it has the same amount of visual weight from one side of the design to the other. It's a lot like a scale with actual weights balancing each other out. But instead of weights, designers use the elements within their design projects to create a sense of balance or imbalance depending on the message they're trying to convey to the viewer. For instance, here are some designs that are balanced. They tend to evoke a feeling of stability and safety. You can calmly take in the design's message simply for what it is. Now here are some designs that lack balance. These designs give an uncomfortable feeling of tension, nervousness, or suspense. Okay, now I'm gonna show you three ways to achieve balance in your designs. The first way is by using symmetry to distribute objects on either side of an axis. Think of an axis like a line that passes through the center of your design. Symmetrical designs have a mirroring effect where one side of the design is a replica of the other. Now, you might be thinking, what about a design like this, where the objects on each side of the axis are not mirror images of each other, but they do have a similar shape? A design like this would still be considered symmetrical. The second way to achieve balance is by using asymmetry. We do this with forms of varying scale, usually by offsetting larger elements with a group of smaller elements. This method allows the designer to be slightly more inventive and experimental in order to get the proper balance. Asymmetrical compositions have a sense of movement to them, like something's about to happen. And the third way to balance a design involves using radial symmetry. With radial symmetry, we arrange elements in a circle so that everything guides your eye to a central focus point. Lastly, as promised, I want to share the one attribute that has a mysterious effect on the balance of your compositions. And that attribute is value. Value is the range of lightness and darkness within a design. Sometimes that range is very dynamic, with a wide contrast between light and dark. Other times the range is subtle, with very little contrast. While I'm going to have an entire lesson on value, all I want you to think about now is how value can be used to add visual weight to a design. So how does value influence balance within this composition? Well, the first thing I noticed is how the objects are placed in order from the smallest to biggest. If we take out the background and just look at the objects alone as a whole, we can see that the design has a sense of imbalance to it, where the bottom right side appears much heavier than the top left. But if we put the objects back in the space, we can see that the designer added a mild light source on the upper left side. This in turn created dark shadows behind the objects and to the right. So what this did was introduce a sense of tension between the light and the darkness. Here's the interesting part. The presence of light in a composition is a focal point that draws our attention. So even without an object up here, we can use lighter values to reduce the tension of the overall arrangement. Here's another one we can analyze. Look at all the dark values surrounding the man in this composition. With all that darkness, our eye is naturally drawn to the area with the highest light value, the glass of bourbon on the bottom left. Then, in order to maintain balance, the designer placed a very loud and bold message on the top right, followed by the logo and a bottle of the actual product along the bottom right. It just goes to show that a well-balanced composition when carefully crafted, can be a powerful vehicle for visually communicating any message. 
And that is my lesson on balance. Of course, balance is just one of the many attributes that artists and designers use in their work. Fortunately for you, I put together a playlist here on YouTube so you can learn all about the fundamentals of graphic design. Click this video to choose your next lesson. The goal of my channel is to help you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. I'd love to have you join my tribe. All you have to do is click subscribe and ding the notification bell. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.